Hey, this is John Jumper from jumpermusic.com. And I had an opportunity to work with a new product from 1010 Music called a Euro Shield. It's a, a Arduino um, shield that includes two audio rate uh, CV inputs and two audio rate CV outputs or audio output, a MIDI in and a MIDI out port and two knobs and a switch or a button and then a set of LEDs on the board that can give you some feedback as to what you're doing on the board. And then you you purchase a, a, a Teensy Arduino separately and that's this um, mini little board up here. It's the processor. And that can be programmed from a um, Mac or a Windows machine that you download a development environment and then additional libraries for the Teensy. And the Teensy's got a bunch of libraries that are geared towards audio. So it's relatively easy to put together something interesting. So I, the first thing I worked on when I got it um, about a less than a week ago was to create um, a plucked sound, VCO, that <clears throat> sounds like a pluck. And then um, I also worked with the waveform generator to generate different waveforms. So let me bring up the pluck sound, and I'll, I'll kind of sweep through the various VCO um, voices that I've put in to this program that I wrote. Basically started with nothing and wrote this program installed it on here and made this Euro Shield into a dual VCO. You can make it into anything. You can make it into a sequencer. You could make it into a, a filter. You could make it into a, a Turing machine. Anything you want to build and you can think of how to do it in code, you can put it on this Teensy and then have this device integrated into your Euro Rack. Additionally, you can see that it's powered by my um, power supply. So let me, let me bring up the the um, voice and let you hear some of the things. The first thing I'm going to bring up is, a, is the pluck sound. Notice too that um, it's arpeggiating. I have the rent, my Rene. My Rene is uh, arpeggiating the sound. So I had this idea that I want—I didn't want to have to put in a trigger and a VC uh, a control voltage to specify the note. So I actually wrote code to track the uh, control voltage coming in, and when it changes significantly, that's when I pluck the string. So I'm actually firing internally the the pluck, and I could, you know, on the voices you could also—they have envelope generator code that you can put in there and do whatever you want with it. So let's bring up some of the other. Um, audio uh, voices from the VCO. And then I'll run them through uh, I'll run them through some filtering so you can hear what they sound like with filter. I'll use this binary filter to the left.
my favorite one out of the waveforms, the standard waveforms, because it's a it is a a pulse with 75% width. And I'm planning on adding to it so that I can select the different pulse widths. So that's the uh, 1010 Music Euro Shield, and I'm going to uh, also do some more videos more in depth on the coating later on, and probably release some uh, some programs so I can uh, you know out there so you can just like down uh, install those onto your Teensy when you get it. Thank you.